NYPD is teaming up with several other police agencies to launch a task force to crack down on missing, fake, or covered license plates. It's an issue we've been reporting on now for months. And CBS2 investigative reporter Tim McNicholas walks us through the new announcement. This stops now. 73 cars towed, eight people arrested. Those are the results of a Monday crackdown on what police call ghost vehicles with missing, fake, or covered license plates. Mayor Adams says it's not just about traffic violations or skipping tolls. We are finding that they are participating in very violent and dangerous crimes. They leave the scenes of, of, of criminality. You don't know who they are. It was the first operation for a new task force, which includes the NYPD, MTA Bridges and Tunnels, the New York City Sheriff's Office, New York State Police, Port Authority Police, and the DMV. The NYPD says the task force will operate across the city to try to get more cars like these off the roads. We're sick and tired of people taking advantage, and everybody else feels like a sucker because they're the ones paying the tolls like law-abiding citizens. Earlier this year, the CBS2 Investigates team watched MTA Bridges and Tunnels officers stop multiple cars on the RFK bridge, including this one with a fake plate covering a real one. CBS2 also found that Amazon was still shipping tinted plate covers to New York, even though the mayor's office said the company agreed to stop. The listings we found have now been removed. It's very disappointing if that's the case. As Amazon made a commitment that they would get rid of any device that was being used to obscure plates. I think we pay enough taxes. Dexter Davis is a driver who strongly opposes tolling, but he's still glad to hear about the new task force. It shouldn't be any lawlessness. Yeah. Um, if, the, if you're going to cover your plate, that's against the law. The task force also wrote 282 tickets Monday, a total they plan to add to in the months ahead. Tim McNicholas, CBS2 Investigates. And Amazon told CBS2 third-party sellers are required to follow all laws and regulations, and it takes corrective actions when needed.